Hey, I'm not dead. I just cut my face shaving. No, no, that's not why I've been on hiatus. Um, <laughs> uh, I've just been really, really busy lately. Uh, college has picked up and I got a part-time job. And uh, also, it's been really inconvenient for me to film at home because uh, I'm home the exact same hours that the rest of my family is home. And they can be noisy sometimes. Um, as a matter of fact, my dad is, well, showering right now, and it's early in the morning. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I have played the new Dark Souls DLC, and it is really good. Like, if, if you're on the wall about getting it, definitely get it. Um, and uh, that should be coming out later this week, uh, so I'm super excited for that. Uh, and then, uh, because I don't have a lot of time and it's inconvenient, uh, for me to film Let's Plays now. I'm gonna be doing less of those, so this Dark Souls DLC was kind of me seeing if I can still film Let's Plays just like on the side or like wake up super early in the morning when everyone's still asleep or something like that. But uh, I am gonna start vlogging, I think. Um, not like going out into the everyday world and vlogging. I don't think I can ever get used to going like this with a cell phone and just be like, hey guys, it's me, I'm stupid, Blah. Um, not that kind of vlogging, but just stuff like this. Uh, and then I also want to do D&D campaign journals. Uh, I'm currently part of one D&D group in which I was playing a paladin, a half-elf paladin that I really, really enjoy. And, uh, then I dropped him temporarily. I'm gonna be getting him back later on, but I'm dropping him temporarily to be like an assistant DM, and then I played a bunch of NPCs, and that was also super fun. And so I, I feel like a like a storytelling session, where kind of like as I already mentioned, it's like a journal entry for me and story session time for you guys. So if you like that kind of stuff, then yeah, that'll be fun. Um, I'm also gonna be starting. Well, I'm not starting yet. I'm not the DM for this other one. Um, but, uh, I'll be joining a new D&D group, uh, made out of some of my old friends from the previous college I went to. And in that, <laughs> I'll be playing 3.5, and I knew next to nothing about 3.5, so I had to do a lot of research and learning and stuff like that. And, <laughs> unfortunately, for my first build in 3.5, I'm playing an Artificer. For those of you who don't know, artificers are really, really complex. You basically have to know, like, all the items, all the spells, and how, like, all the crafting stuff works. It's just way too much. If I had known that it was going to be this complicated, I would have said, No, never mind, I'll just play a fighter. <laughs> because, my gosh, artificers are complex. I, I kind of want to make a guide to them, though. Because while I was digging around and looking for resources online to like help me through the process, I noticed that there really isn't any. Like no one seems to care about making artificers uh, outside of a few people on a few forums. So I, I feel like uh, there's definitely a niche for like obscure older D&D content that still has been untapped on YouTube. However, that requires a lot of research and time. So I don't know if this is gonna be a regular show or not, but I could make little guide videos showing off like obscure uh, D&D stuff or um, just guides on older builds and stuff like that. So yeah, I've got all sorts of ideas, not just the ones I've mentioned. Those are just the ones that seem semi-viable. I just don't always have the time to do it. So I just realized I'm wearing black. My chair is black. That's probably not a good idea. This is just what I'm going to be wearing today. I didn't think that through. However, it allows for a good segue. <laughs> Check it out. I got this neat little Darth Vader cup. Um, it's got a tiny little chip on it right here. And so it was in the clearance bin for like $2, which I thought was a great price for it. So there you go. That's, that's a thing. Uh, oh, and then the most obvious thing to talk about. I got a haircut. As you can notice, it's not like super long and down in my back. Um, I might make a separate vlog if I have enough to talk about in here, but just in general, so far, I still have no idea how I'm going to wear it permanently. But right now, I've literally just been combing it back 
and then coming back with a little bit of my little brother's gel that he bought like years ago and never ended up using and then just like sticking that in the front and then just going back like that and then it's just been flopping down and parting and it's like okay you know what i look like a sloppy pro jared uh with that in mind guys <laughs> i rate this video no how does he say it Okay, with that in mind, guys, I give this video a Fruit Loop out of 10. You see, Fruit Loops are... No, I can't do this right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll do a Pro Jared parody some other time. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna excuse myself right now. Bye. Wait, nope. Forgot something. It's great to be back. Bye. <laughs>